Um, hello, everyone. My name is Aditi. Um, I started a very long time ago in the CS era. So it's it's been a while, as you can imagine. Um, <clears throat> why start early? So uh, a little bit about myself. I did my residency from India, after which I moved to Mayo Clinic for about a year <clears throat> in order to do research in gastroenterology. Now, during my uh, med school, I also finished, uh, you know, I finished uh, hands-on clinical electives, uh, partly to see why, whether or not the U.S. suits me and to see whether that is something that I would want to pursue. <clears throat> At that time, I finished my CS. Now, after finishing my research, I started residency at Westchester Medical Center, New York. Um, I fin I did that, uh, gained a lot of experience, gained a lot of publications, etc. And then I matched into Bay Baylor Clinic of uh, Baylor College of Medicine, Houston, Texas, for nephrology. So then I finished nephrology. <clears throat> then I decided that uh, you know I I wanted to come back home for family reasons. So now I'm back home in India. Um, I'm very excited to be here talking to everyone. Congratulations to everybody who pre-matched. Uh, now, early, starting early, you know, <clears throat> certain advantages I think of starting early are, one, you're able to plan your clinical experiences. Now, if you start, in my case, I think it was a boon. The reason I did my clinical experience early was because I wanted to see how it is in the United States. But I think it was a boon for me because I got hands-on experiences. And I had the time and the opportunity to do research also after without really losing too many years or becoming an old graduate. <clears throat> so you're able to plan your clinical experiences very well. You're able to look out for research also very well. Uh, in my era, you know, I had emailed a lot of people and I got an excellent opportunity. I got a lot of publications out of that. So you're able to look for research. You're able to look for clinical experiences. We know that this is getting more and more competitive with time. We know that this is getting more and more important in your CV with time, you know, to have as many as you can. So I think that really, really is helpful. Another thing that I think is really helpful about starting early, and uh, this is something I did not do, so this is a mistake on my part, something that I think you know I should have done, is to finish the step three exam. <clears throat> now, two reasons. One, if you are able to finish the step three exam before you're applying for match, you get more interviews, your chances of matching increase, okay? <clears throat> Now, in the situation that you're not able to finish your, uh, your exam before you're applying also, I still recommend give the exam because I gave it in my first year of residency, which involved very rigorous training, which involved uh, adjusting in a completely new country, in new environment. And that was very hard, you know, to be able to do it. Luckily, by God's grace, it worked out. But having said that, it is very tough to be able to juggle everything, which is why I tell my students also that definitely make sure you finish your step three. And you can focus on your boards afterwards. You know, you can focus on your residency afterwards. So I think that is also a very important reason why you should start early is to finish your exams in the timeline <clears throat> that you have planned. Now, a lot of times what happens as a panelist also, we see this is that you do not finish. You're not, not able to finish Exams as you plan also, because, you know, you give your NBMEs and then you figure that, oh, I could have scored more and I'll probably wait for a little while to score more. And it when you put that kind of pressure on yourself, when you have a set, set target date that, oh, I have to apply by then, it becomes, a, you become a pressure cooker. You're not able to function properly. You're not able to study properly. You're not able to do rotations properly. You cancel rotations. You know, all of these things add on to that process. Which is why we, I really believe that starting early helps you just plan things out. <clears throat> now, especially with step one becoming a pass-fail process, I think, um, you know, the scores of step one, you don't have scores for step one anymore. So definitely focusing on giving your step one before you finish med school uh, will really, for those that are applying immediately after med school, that is, um, it will really, really help you plan the plan the rest of the time in a way that you're able to fit in your USC, you're able to fit in your research, you're able to effectively give all the exams and you don't have, a your head is not a pressure cooker where you're just, you know, uh, running and rushing into the whole thing. You're more contained and more within yourself. You're able to perform better in interviews. You go in with confidence for your USCE. Everything works in a better manner. So these are the main uh, things that I think are important that uh, should, uh, you know, have you start early. There is also another thing I wanted to touch on, Pawan sir, if you don't mind me taking two more minutes. Of course. Yep, um, yep, yep. 
so they mentioned, you know, uh, Dr. Aditya mentioned something like uh, beggars. We are not beggars, okay? And beggars are not choosers. <clears throat> when um, I was applying for my match, and I tell my students this also, uh, as you know, in Facebook, everybody will write their profiles with scores of 260s, 270s and say, oh, do you think I will match? And then you are left, uh, you know, my scores were not that high. So I was left feeling like, oh, maybe I don't exist anymore out here. <laughs> Somebody in the in the comments wrote um, that if you don't believe that you deserve it, how are you going to convince the person in front of you that you deserve it? You know, so that starts from within. Just knowing yourself, knowing your being, having that faith and confidence in yourself, you know, is the main thing. Having that, you you should internally, you know what your, your worth is and you know where you are reaching and what your goal is. And working towards that goal consistently, small, small achievements every day will add up. And, you know, that is what will get you to your goal. So I think... Um, all of us the, in, at Sarthi, that is what we uh, typically, you know, teach our students also, and that is what we tell. And um, I would, I would love to, I would, uh, I really appreciate that that it was touched on in today's meeting. Thank you so much for watching. We hope that video provided valuable insights for your journey. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And check out our website for details on how we can guide you to a successful match.